Hi and welcome, this is JNM with part 4 of the Make a Game with Unity tutorial series and in this one we will add a crosshair that we can move around with the mouse. I painted a very simple black crosshair image with Photoshop that I will use here in this project. First I create a new folder and call it Images. Then I drag the PSD file of the crosshair into this folder. After that I defined the image as a sprite and once I did this and press apply you can see that the background turns to transparent. Ok, the next step is to add this image as a game object to the scene and to do this I used the Unity UI system to define an image object and after I created this a canvas game object is added automatically. This is because all UI objects need a canvas as a parent object. Ok, now I rename the image to crosshair and set the position to the center. After that I set the size to let's say 64 and then I drag the crosshair sprite into the source image slot. And that's it, here's our crosshair in the center of the game view. But there's just one problem now and this is that the size of the crosshair does not scale with the size of the canvas. But of course we want to adjust this size when the size of the screen changes. But this is really easy to fix. When we added the image and the canvas, a canvas scalar script has been added as well. This has a property called UI scale mode and we just have to set it to scale with screen size. Great, now there are two requirements left. First of all we want to move around the crosshair with the mouse and the mouse cursor should be invisible. This can be done with a simple C -sharp script. I created a folder and called it scripts and then I choose create C -sharp script and call it crosshair. Then I select the crosshair image, press add component and add the crosshair script that I just created. When I double click this script Visual Studio would be opened and this is because I defined Visual Studio as my editor in the preferences here. Select edit, preferences and then external tools and here you can see I defined Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition. You could also use the built-in Mono Develop but I prefer Visual Studio 2017 which is free by the way. Alright, so let's double click the script and Visual Studio will be opened and the class that is created is called crosshair like the file and it is derived from the class mono behavior. I will explain these classes and concepts in one of the next tutorials. For this one I will keep it simple. We focus on two functions which are also called methods in object oriented programming. The first one is the start method. And this is called once for the particular object when the game is started. We use it for initialization of states and variables. The other method called update is called for every frame of the game cycle. So as I said we want to make the mouse cursor invisible and we do this in the start method. The only thing we have to do is to set the visible property of the cursor to false. In the update method we set the position of the image's transform to the position of the mouse cursor. So now you ask why is the position applied to the crosshair image? Well this is because we assign this script to the image object and when we set properties of for example this dot transform we automatically refer to the game object to which this script is assigned. Ok and we are ready to start the game and as you can see it works like a charm. In the next part I will show you how to shoot with Raycast and how to hit certain objects. If you like my channel and this series please don't forget to subscribe to not miss the next part. I will also upload resources like images and scripts of this project to my Patreon account and you can download it from there for free. Thanks a lot for watching, thanks for your support and see you soon.